Hey guys, it's Laura. Over the last several years, I've known that I wanted to become a nutrition coach. And last year, I finally pulled the trigger and chose NCI's Level 1 Certification Program. But as I went through the decision-making process, I came across a number of different certifications and had a difficult time choosing which one to go with. So this video has been a long time in the making because this is what I was looking for when I was trying to find the right program. Now I do want to be clear that I didn't study nutrition in college, and it wasn't in the cards for me to go back to school for four to five years to become a dietitian. Some of the biggest differences between dietitians and nutritionists or nutrition coaches is that they're able to prescribe meal plans, and they can also call themselves a dietitian. It's heavily regulated, whereas calling yourself a nutrition coach or a nutritionist, technically anybody can do it. All the more reason why I wanted to get the best education possible so I could better help clients reach their goals and develop healthier eating habits. I wanted to find the program that was right for me and that best fit my needs, but that proved to be more difficult than I originally anticipated. So I'm going to give a brief overview of the programs and certifications that I looked at, why I chose NCI, and what the experience has been like so far. And I'm not trying to bash any other program out there, mainly because I haven't experienced any of the other ones for myself. When I began researching programs, I did what most people would likely do. Go under Google and type in Best Nutrition Certification Programs and other similar searches. As I looked through a number of different websites, I noticed the same certifications coming up over and over again. And as I go through the various programs that I looked at, I'm going to try and give you the most up-to-date information that I could find. The programs that I initially looked at included ACE, NASM, ISSA, Precision Nutrition, and the Institute of Integrated Nutrition. I immediately recognized ACE and NASM from when I chose my personal trainer certification program. So I decided I'll start there. Right now, the price for the ACE Health Coach Certification Program ranges from about $1,000 to $1,800. And that's based on the materials you receive, how many practice tests you have access to, and so on. And I know that ACE does run sales on occasion. And NASM has their own nutrition coaching certification, which is about $900, and yes, they run sales as well. Both of these programs seem to be great choices, but I did notice that on a lot of the lists that I saw ranking various programs, they weren't listed as the number one or number two program. The ISSA certification came up as another option, but it seemed like the big selling point was that it was often bundled with the personal trainer certification that they had. Now I believe their nutrition focused certification runs at about $800, but they also have a whole separate program that partners with Precision Nutrition. I find this a little bit confusing because Precision Nutrition is an entirely different organization. But this led me down the rabbit hole of Precision Nutrition, what they're all about, and they seemed like maybe, potentially, the number one option for me. Precision Nutrition seemed to have a great reputation, and I was encouraged to see so many very positive reviews on blogs, videos, websites, you name it. This program costs about $1,000, but there is a waiting list to sign up. So I went ahead and put myself on the waiting list and kept my options open. But throughout this entire experience, I noticed that I kept getting ads for one particular organization, the Institute of Integrated Nutrition. And as I started looking at this organization and the certification and the program, I was surprised at how little unbiased information I could find. It seemed like all of the reviews that I read on blogs and videos that I watched on YouTube had a monetary incentive to refer people to their program. And don't get me wrong, I think it's totally fine if there are incentives for people to refer others to a program that they truly believe in. And from a business standpoint, I think that's pretty smart. But the cost of the program itself was significantly higher than all of the other ones I had looked at. We're talking at least five grand. And let's be clear, I haven't done this program. I only have an outsider's perspective, but I didn't have a warm, fuzzy feeling about it. I read some reviews and opinions on Reddit that didn't have a monetary incentive, and honestly, reading through a bunch of those was enough for me to make the decision that this certification probably wasn't for me. Alright, so it's still the point in time when I thought I was going to move forward with Precision Nutrition. 
But I remembered hearing about NCI through Mind Pump, which is a podcast that I've been listening to for years. If you've never listened to this podcast, I do recommend it particularly if you're interested in health and fitness and working out and that kind of thing. But it's basically three guys who are personal trainers. They've been personal trainers their whole career, but their whole goal is to provide truthful information about health and fitness. As you're probably aware, the health and fitness industry is full of misinformation and it's made those waters incredibly difficult to navigate. By no means are they perfect or all-knowing, they're human after all, but I do really respect their opinions and their perspectives. So a while back they did an interview with Jason Phillips. So he's the founder of a fairly new organization called NCI, or the Nutritional Coaching Institute. And NCI ended up offering Mind Pump listeners a free gut health course, which I obviously took advantage of. The quality of the course itself was great, but I also loved that they added so much value at no cost to the listener. And sure enough, they have a nutrition coaching certification. You would think at the Nutritional Coaching Institute they would. So, as I'm looking around for this stuff, I can't find a price and I can't find reviews anywhere. I like to be an informed consumer. So it was a bit of a red flag when I couldn't find much information online. But because they provided a lot of top-notch quality free content, they got me curious. I ended up getting on the phone with one of their sales representatives, and I knew that they had a promotion going on for their level one certification program. The conversation itself was very genuine. I really liked the guy that I talked to, and I felt comfortable asking tough questions. At that point in time, the level one certification program was about $1,500, and they knocked $500 off that price. So it was pretty much equivalent to the precision nutrition certification cost. While I didn't sign up during that initial call, I did let them know that I was interested and wanted to have a little more time to consider my options. And by the way, if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. So at this point, you're probably wondering why I chose NCI, a fairly new organization with not a whole lot of reviews or information about them online, versus Precision Nutrition, which has a plethora of information and reviews out there. One of the biggest reasons was due to the recommendations from Mind Pump and the Mind Pump community. Mind Pump has a private forum on Facebook that I am a part of, and sure enough, there were some other people who asked the same question I had. What was the best nutrition certification program? And to my surprise, the answer was almost unanimously NCI. Why? Because they focus on how to apply the information that you've learned and how to coach people effectively. There were actually a lot of people who did both programs, and every single one of those people recommended NCI over Precision Nutrition. That got my attention and it convinced me to pull the trigger. Let me go ahead and tell you what the NCI experience has been like so far. I'm currently in the final exam stage of my certification, which is a three month long process, so I feel like I can speak to this pretty well. Basically, they run a few live sessions of the training per year. You can attend in person or virtually. In 2020, in person was obviously not an option, but they are starting to open the in person opportunities back up. They also have two different versions of on-demand sessions. One is the recording of the live session where you get the conversations and comments from people who attended. The other version has shorter videos broken out by topic. You also get a PDF version of the manual, which I decided to print out and I got it bound so it's all nice and fancy, I could highlight in it. You also get the presentation slides and some other documents. I ended up doing both versions of the on-demand sessions and then a few months later I joined part of one of the live sessions so I could refresh on some of the topics and get some questions I had answered in real time. The quality of the information is fantastic and they explain things in a way that's very easy to understand. They also offer a number of specialty courses that focus on things like gut health, mindset, and hormones. As I mentioned before, the final exam is a three month long process that involves a few different things. The main ones being working through a client avatar, which they provide you two different options, and then you have to take on two guinea pig clients and coach them for 90 days. They wanna make sure that you know how to apply what you've learned throughout the program, and they're there to help along the way. What I've come to realize is that they're there to help even after your guinea pigs even after you have completed the certification. 
and they have an incredibly active Facebook group and everybody in there is so incredibly helpful. I see posts from people in there all the time and they're asking questions, they're asking for recommendations or suggestions about current client issues that they're dealing with. And I don't think I've ever seen a question go unanswered in that group. Needless to say, I feel very supported. Aside from the certification itself, there is also a lot of focus in that community around how to build an effective coaching business. They offer a lot of free training and other great opportunities that focus on things that are surprisingly both strategic and very tactical. And as somebody who works in the business consulting space for their day job, I have to say I'm really impressed by the way that they balance the strategic and tactical aspects of building and growing a business. I've learned a ton from the NCI organization, but also from the community. And I'm actually going to partake in the level two certification in a few weeks. And if you've been following me for a while, this probably won't surprise you. So if you're watching this video because you're going through the same process that I went through, I encourage you to do your research. Take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. This is just my experience. Your experience could be completely different. I wish I could go through all of the programs and give you a thorough breakdown of all of the things I liked and disliked about each, but that's just not feasible right now. But I at least wanted to walk you through my decision-making process, my thought process, and share my experience with NCI. I'm not here to knock any of the other programs that I mentioned, and they probably provide very similar information. But the focus on application and coaching is how NCI won me over. And if I had known about their extremely active and supportive community, along with the opportunities and education around how to build an effective coaching business, I think I would have made the decision a lot sooner. I hope you found this video helpful and maybe even a little bit interesting. And if you've participated in any of these programs, I really want to hear about your experience. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you have questions, feel free to leave a comment below, send me an email, shoot me a message on Instagram, let me know how I can help. I know that this was the kind of video that I was looking for when I was going through this process, so I really hope it helps somebody. And if it did, I hope you give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!